Well, hello, fellow investors and traders. I'm L.A. Little, and this is your daily Neo TA Wrap. When we take a look at these markets, we do it from a neoclassical perspective. Each time, we ask ourselves one question, and that is, what happened today? What does it tell us about the coming days? Do this show four times a week. Every Monday through Thursday is broadcast at or before 10 o'clock Eastern Time, archived on YouTube under the channel L.A. Little. If you haven't subscribed, reach up in the right-hand corner, hit the subscription button. Each time content's pushed, you'll get a notification uh, to that effect. As far as what happened today, uh, we actually got that update. We were wondering if we would, uh, you know, there's a slight bias to the upside last night, and they did follow through and squeeze it higher. Uh, one programming note uh, before I forget, uh, I will not be doing a show uh, Thursday evening. Uh, tomorrow night will be the last show this week. That will be true next week as well. So getting back into the numbers here, so you push it up again, you get uh, the S&P up almost a, a full percent. Russell, same amount, trailing on the uh, NASDAQ, the NDX, and the, the Dow was up a good percentage as well. If we look elsewhere here, over in Europe, uh, they were pretty much flat by the end of the day. They were up, they were down, they finished flat. Europe looks like it's going to try to push a little bit higher tomorrow. Uh, we'll look at those charts here in a minute. Asia was uh, okay last night. All got that bounce that we talked about last night. We were talking about one of the few signals that were given to us last night. All was one of them, and we did get that bounce up as expected. Elsewhere, uh, as far as bounces, uh, got an okay bounce, I guess, uh, in um, the, uh, the dollar, um, but it gave it up uh, towards the end of the day. Excuse me, uh, uh, the dollar was down and got a little bit of a bounce uh, towards the end of the day, uh, pushing back higher. I suspect the dollar is going to try to rise a little bit and push the euro down tonight, and bonds uh, gave it up a little bit as well. Let's look at the charts. Starting here with the S&P 500, and let's see what we got here. Uh, so we get a push up, uh, volume, of course, tailing off as, as we're getting down into the uh, end of the uh, year. So here's that push, right? And the test is into this bar, top of that bar, 20, 40, 81. We get to 20, 38, 97 on the close. Get over it, back under it, less volume. That says you're going to try to go back down the other way. So when I'm looking at this, what I'm seeing is a market that's pushed off these lows into the big bar, the big volume bar, which was Friday's uh, quad witching. Gets over it, back under it. This is going to try to pull back. Where can it pull back to? Well, just looking at this chart, there's, there's nothing to stop it until it comes back into probably the top of this bottom. That's about 2023. I don't know that it's going to go that deep, but it certainly could pull back 15 points if it wanted to. I don't see anything on this chart to stop it from doing that. Let's look at the um, NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ actually got over it earlier today, and I believe it actually held. Let's see if it did. 49.96.49, and it did. So that's the divergence. That's the kind of divergence you really want to see, which also tells you that more than likely whatever kind of retrace you get tomorrow, is going to be a smaller one. It's not going to be deep. And so that's that's a good sign. Let's see if the NDX. Now, the NDX was weaker all day. I doubt it stayed over. Uh, price point here is 45.93. Yeah, it closed underneath it. So that looks like the S&P. So you get over it, back under it, less volume. That's a, that's a test failure of that high. And then here was, uh, this was the, you know, if you're looking for good news today, it was in the Russell. And the Russell got over that bar, stayed over it, and the Russell actually was was leading today rather than lagging. It took it half a day to get there, but once it got going, it, it held on to it. So, it looks to me, you know, you got mixed signals. You got the you got the S and P, uh, you have the NDX saying, hey, we're going to try to come back tomorrow. You got the broader Nasdaq and the broad small cap saying that we're going to uh, to stay up here. So. I think you're going to get some sort of a small pullback. I don't think it's going to amount to much, though. And that's that's kind of the prognosis just looking at the indexes. Let's look for some uh, corroborating evidence now as we uh, go around the horn here trying to figure out what's happening. So let's pop over to the uh, world markets next, see what we got there. 
we'll start with uh, Japan. Uh, Japan pops up. Uh, Japan gets up. Let me get this a little bit bigger. Japan gets up to the uh, the top, right, and gives it all up. Comes back down, tests on the bottom, and Japan doesn't doesn't look terrible here. But I mean, this still can come back down and test this low. So Japan itself is, you know, just kind of big range, right? And you're seeing this actually, you know, if you look at it, you see it in a bunch of the charts. And that is, is that you've got some sort of a larger range, you know, setting up. And a lot of these, actually, that range is from down here up there. You got a lot of uh, range setups in a lot of markets, Japan being one of them. Uh, that doesn't look bad, but, it, you know, it's nothing to write home about. Let's see if Hong Kong looks any different. And actually, Hong Kong's holding up here not bad. So that's, that's a good-looking pattern, the way it's setting up. So it's attacking the bearish retest regenerate zone. And that zone is here. If I draw it in for you, it's off this low. It's testing into that. It's also got this larger one up above it, right, that starts lower but then actually finishes higher. Testing into it, and it's not backing off in any big way. So this actually looks like it's setting up to try to make another run higher. And that would be a good sign in the Asian markets. Now I know I don't have the volume the last couple days here on the, on the Shanghai, but the Shanghai is pushing right up to the tops again. There's two swing point highs up there and it's moving up there to test them. If we bring over the weekly, uh, that's a decent looking setup to go after the highs of this low. And if you remember, you know, sometime back, uh, I was asked or I volunteered the information that, you know, if the Shanghai was able to get over this swing point low, to me, that would be the key spot right there. And once it did, right, there was a good chance that this thing could actually move higher. Well, it comes back in, look at it, it comes back in and test it, holds it. Now it's coming back up here. These are swing point highs on the daily. It's not going to be on the weekly, but if it gets over them, now it can go get that high, which is out there, which I believe will probably be about as much as you can expect out of this market. So the next target on this move up, if in fact this ends up being an ABCD structure, let me clean it up here so I can draw it in for you. If this ends up being an ABCD structure on the weekly, is you have the potential to go up and get that high now, right? Right to it. So I like the way this chart's setting up. Um, you know, I haven't been in this market for a while. I know some of the members are in this market, and it's setting up very nicely to make another run uh, into the new year. Uh, look over in Europe next, uh, because Europe is really the one that's probably going to drive us tomorrow. If I take a look here, we have uh, Europe fading underneath, volumes tailing off. Yesterday's lows 10,497. Uh, and we get under it, back, you know, actually stayed under it here on the DAX. Uh, we did test into these two bars. Uh, there's just nothing here to tell me this has turned yet. So we may actually get some more testing tomorrow. It did test into, I guess it did test one test here, which is into the high. That's 10,482. And uh, yeah, I tested into it and back over it. So I do think we'll get a bounce tomorrow. Now, the key thing here, you know, you have to ask yourself is just like we were just looking at Shanghai, you know, is this thing setting up some sort of an ABCD structure, right, to take it higher? Is that is that the setup or is the setup really this, right, where this thing is is really coming in and you're setting up a, a you know, structure to go back here and then to turn it around and go deeper to the other side. And that's the question, right? Is it is it heading higher? Is it heading lower? You don't really know that answer yet, you know, which it is. But you will know fairly soon which it is. And, and the key, you don't want to wait until, you know, it's already broken a swing point, right? You don't want this to happen, uh, whether it ends up being a swing point or not. You don't want it to break the B point before you make a move. What you want to do is you want to see it test into this and get into it, right? If it does that, then it's probably going to go after that low and potentially break it. And so that's the kind of scenario that you're going to be watching for to know, you know, if you want to put the short positions on or if you want to lighten up on your longs, if it gets into this bar and stays into it, the big blue bar there, 
then that's probably a decent heads up that it's probably going to try to get to the bottom and at least test it. And that's how you use the neoclassical to get a heads up on probably what's happening. Let's take a quick look at CAX and see if it's doing anything. And same thing, did exactly the same thing. And you can see it's already in the bar and it's still holding on to it. Uh, let me go back here to the DAX one more time. I'll look at the weekly real quick. And yeah, that actually does look like it's going to come back at some point. So I think you'll get a bounce, but then it comes back into it. And why do I think we'll get a bounce? Well, that has to do with, uh, you know, what's going on in the currencies markets. And uh, when I come back here, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at what that is. I'll be right back. If you are serious about trading, TA Today's Tools is the perfect service to help you reach your trading goals. Go to our homepage and click Use Our Tools. Here you will find an overview of this amazing service we offer to our clients. One of the tools you will have access to is the TA Today charts. These charts visually map all the neoclassical concepts that LA writes and teaches about and is the perfect charting service for neoclassical traders. Learn the trend of a stock you're interested in and see the stock on all three time frames. To get started with a free two-week trial, go to our homepage, click Use Our Tools, and then click the Free Trial button. So before I left there, I was talking about the uh, currency markets and um, you know what the driver is there, maybe going to get a little push up in Europe as a result of it. And what I'm looking at and I want to share with you here is, is you know in particular the euro. Euro is about 50% of the dollar index. And if we look at this top bottom, you know, and that bar that I'm outlining there, of course, is the Draghi bar. So that bar is where Draghi, you know, did his thing disappointed uh, the euro shot straight up as a result of it and that created a range right it's been a little bit over the top of the range came here to the bottom of the range and stayed in it now it just tested that top again and as you can see gets over that bar gets over the top of this bar has no volume associated with it top of that bar is uh, 107.54 trades to 107.54 uh, actually traded right to the penny and then drops back into it. It's got no volume. This is going to probably come back down. If the euro comes down, it's going to help the European markets. It's going to hurt the commodity markets probably as, as the dollar tries to push higher. Now, will the dollar push higher or not? Uh, if we go over and take a look at the yen, what you're going to see there is the yen did the exact same setup. The yen had this big push down, huge volume. That push was on the expectation that the uh, QE program was going to be expanded. Didn't happen. Left them high and dry. They're all sitting there, you know, waiting and uh, smacking their chops, thinking they're going to make some money, and then it goes right back the other way. Well, today it goes over, back under. There is no volume right now. Uh, this actually looks like it's contained. If it's contained, that means it's probably going to trade uh, more in a range than outside the range. And the range it's been trading in is here. And what is that? That's the bearish retest regen. And it's inside this big range as a result of that. And so, so far, it's been unable to get over this area, which means it's probably going to come back down into it one more time. And so this was the Draghi bar here, uh, this bar here. And so that also, um, you know, if you want to split hairs, that bar also uh, has created a range as well right so you kind of have that range inside there so anyway currencies look like uh, they are in fact supporting a little bit of strength in uh, those currencies which will of course go against the dollar and we may see a little bit of a pullback in our markets as a result of it uh, there's not much else to talk about as we get down here to the end of the year uh, things are really tailing off uh, we did see a bounce uh, in the oil market today um, a little bit of a bounce, I mean, not much, but, you know, I, I mean, you sell it down that much, I guess you're going to bounce at some point. And then uh, over in the uh, bond market, they did pull them back a little bit today. So overall, you got divergence on the main indexes. Had a two-day push after a big drop. 
expect some sort of small pullback. I don't even know if it'll last a day. And then we'll probably push higher into Christmas Day. That's it for tonight. Thanks for joining me as always. I appreciate it. Tell a friend, tell two. I'm L.A. This is and it was your daily Neo T.A. wrap. Have a great night, and I'll catch you next time. Good night, folks.